And this is happening in downtown Toronto right now outside the University Health Network. I'm on University Avenue right now. There's easily a thousand people here. There's a certain number of police officers here as well. For all it's worth, their protest will be happening tomorrow at 1 p.m. And oddly enough, it looks like the police officer is covering this parade. Unlike almost every other police officer in Toronto, all the protesters coming covering this parade are wearing their masks today. That's obviously been mandated by the police services board. There's another sense of what's going on. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. crowd has begun marching. Looks like right now they're crossing the street on University Avenue. And they're stopping traffic on University Avenue. Right now we're outside Mount Sinai Hospital in downtown Toronto. There's a crowd of about a thousand well-organized protesters out here. Most of them are healthcare workers who walked off the job at 1 p.m. just enough for crowd control. It looks like they're not taking any active part in the protest and to be fair, their protest happens tomorrow at one o'clock in downtown Toronto. corner of Jared Street and University Avenue in downtown Toronto where approximately a thousand healthcare workers, friends, family, associates walked off the job at 12 noon in order to protest vaccine edicts from their unions, the provincial government and the federal government. These are people who were considered These are people who were our frontline healthcare workers and now they're being thrown under the bus by the provincial, the federal government and their unions. And they don't like this. Thanks Paula. 
If you like what you see, like, comment, share, subscribe. Get this out to as many people as possible. noted before, the protesters are beginning to walk up University Avenue towards Queen Park. There's about a thousand of them. The core are a number of healthcare workers who walked off the job about 1 p.m. today at the University Health Network in order to protest vaccine edicts from their bosses, their union, the provincial government, and the federal government. These are healthcare workers who were heroes up until a month ago, and now they're being thrown under the bus by the government. And obviously, they don't like what's going on. We got about 43 people on this live stream right now. I want to encourage everybody to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We've got to get this information out to a wider audience. If the healthcare workers don't like the vax, they are the experts. They are people we should be listening to. As noted previously, I am walking up University Avenue with about a thousand protesters, the core of which is a number of healthcare workers who walked off the job at the University Healthcare Network on strike protesting against mandated vaccines at one o'clock this afternoon. These are people who are our frontline workers and our heroes up until a month ago and now they're being thrown under the bus by the provincial government, the federal government and their unions. corner of college and university. Uh, looks like the crowd's backed up for several blocks. They're moving. They're going for Queens Park. Gonna sit here for a second to get a proper count on the people coming by. Time no see. Glad you're here. That's okay. You're 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 Lucy. 
That's okay. Well, this is such a big turnout. The only jobs he supports are rim jobs, you know. <laughs> As you can see, lots of people today. Uh, the core of this group are healthcare workers who walked off the job at the University Health Network at 1 p.m. to protest the mandated vaccine edicts issued by their employers, their union, the provincial government, and the federal government. These are frontline healthcare workers who, up until a week or so ago, were all heroes. Now they're being thrown under the bus. So they're offended by it. I would also argue that because they are frontline healthcare workers, they know more about this than most. And we should uh, talk to them about their concerns about the vax and what they are seeing and why they're refusing it. Perhaps part of the reason one of the protesters is carrying a sign that says science over science. The second science has a dollar bill attached to it. Obviously, they're, they're, they're thinking that, that money is a bad thing. Money influences science. Money screws up a lot of stuff. Anyway, I'm going to take a picture over here. You can see, again, such a massive crowd walking towards Queens Park to protest. <laughs> 